Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have this monster of a laptop or should I say a workstation that I just got and this thing is the latest ThinkPad workstations uh, P16 Gen Generation 2 or Gen 2 is what they call it now and I just got it the other day and I tried to see online if some reviews and stuff and I didn't see any so that's why I'm making this review for you guys that may be interested to see this um, and kind of get some kind of perception of what this looks like. Um, I actually used to have a P53 I believe was the previous model before the P16 if I'm not mistaken and it was um, kind of bulky kind of squarish looking and just a little bit different design like more it was looking more like the older style of ThinkPads um, where you need to keep one thing in mind again this is a workstation um, what this came with was it wasn't a lot of stuff and in this box um, we just the only thing you find or you find a couple of things a couple of things you find is this this kind of setup here with this uh, this kind of paper recycled paper thing whatever it is uh, there was a uh, this this funky looking um, cloth kind of a paperish material that was um, on top of the thing pad and just one just one set of papers. I didn't even look at the papers. There's some, they're kind of, kind of presentation manuals, whatever. Not even a manual, probably warnings. Let me see what they are. Or a quick guide, whatever they call it. Yeah, just not a whole lot. Uh, some coin cell battery notice. Um, not sure why I'm getting all of these. I saw this also in the box, this and that. Oh, okay. So we are getting, yeah, it's a ThinkPad P16 Gen 2 again. It's just a quick guide of some of the things. I guess the camera shut off, NFC where it's supposed to be, sensor and the fingerprint sensor being on the button, the power button. There's some other options on USB, C's, this and that. Um, then description, you know, commercial vantage, okay. Yeah, not a whole lot of things. Uh, and then this, this is very strange that I want to say to you guys that have seen this warning on the coin battery to be kept away from children that I had, I'd never saw this before on these laptops. And I'm kind of surprised because this coin battery is inside the motherboard, if you guys know this. Or maybe you don't know but it's it's very hard to get to this coin and the second thing that come that came with this package was in this box was just this huge brick looking which think bad workstations are famous for these because they consume a lot of power so this crazy heavy adapter this this got a weight at least a pound a pound and a half or I would say six, seven hundred, maybe even a, a one kilo, close to a kilogram probably. And these huge wires, obviously, this fat wire here and the other one here. Um, also, if you guys haven't paid attention or maybe you had this before but you never realized, the shape of this adapter is very specific. The reason is because if you look at these round corners here, you know, not it's not a square type of an adapter it's because you can roll you can actually roll your cable if you're going to travel you can roll your cable like this and kind of go around to your adapter like this roll it of course in a better shape and then you can lock it this is your lock here to lock it that's the reason why they, they uh, designed this adapter in this way so Next thing is, here's the laptop actually, and it's pretty cool looking. I I really liked it when I got it out of the box. Um, it has a very nice, kind of a flat metallic color, very stylish. 
I would say that they did a better job than the previous models. Um, the actual design, if you see this, I'll show you on the side because like I said, it's not a square. This looks more of a different type of a uh, design and it's kind of strange because it's, it's very bulky in the back here and it's kind of going at an angle, round angle going up towards the screen when looking on the side. So this is how this thing looks like. And it has these, the first thing you see is when you get this out of the box is these enormous vents in the back. Um, these are huge. Uh, on my P53, they were smaller. Um, and I believe the system was completely different because now Lenovo is using kind of a liquid system, I believe, on some of the legions. And I believe this thing has also some kind of a much, much more advanced system. And I believe it has a liquid system also uh, for the video cards because these are RTX Quadro video cards. So they are made to consume a lot of power and release a lot of heat. Um, that's the design in the back. Again, this is from the side and this is how it looks from the front just round on the bottom this is this is th these are the mounting bolts here that's what it looks like on the other side and to get to the bottom side this is what the bottom side is and <clears throat> it is very uh, interesting looking Again, the design is flat, matte, black, and you see immediately this interesting here thing that it takes your attention because I almost thought this was AI, artificial intelligence, but I believe that's not what it means. That's I think this AI stands for aluminum plus magnesium. That's the that's the probably the material of what they made the frame of ThinkPad P16 Gen 2 again. And this is a cover for the to get to the I believe some of the RAM memory that you can upgrade. And here's this kind of nasty looking sticker, which I don't really understand why they installed this. But again, this is for the coin cell. This I have never seen before, and I got it. I also have a Legion laptop that I will make a review on that one too in a separate video. That it doesn't have this uh, label. I don't know what happened. There must have been an accident or something to start putting these huge labels. Um, I'm actually going to take this label off because it's very ugly. This this button cell battery is inside this laptop, very deeply hidden. You can't just get to, to it to, you know, so, so that in a case a baby wants to get it, it'll, you know, and choke on it. It's just, that's impossible. It's, it'll never happen. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe, maybe we can do some more research and see what actually happened. But the thing that I wanted to show you is this interesting design here on the uh, bottom side of the laptop. It has these legs here these rubber legs uh, so that when you you know you when you put your laptop on a surface you actually get so you give it some air or some spray some space so that the fans can breathe and suck the air they need on on the bottom side and as you can see the back uh, legs are much much bigger and I assume these fans are gonna be right here they're gonna be sucking from these two areas because that's where the uh, vents are in the back. As you can see, they're right here and here on the left side. So to kind of quickly go through these, uh, what accessories you have or plugs in the back, you have the, this is the electrical plug. That's USB-C powered, USB-C powered HDMI. That's what you have back here. 
um, this light, I believe there's a LED here that comes on when you actually plug this computer on. And we have this, I believe this is a, they used to have used these in the offices to lock these laptops in the offices, maybe that's what it is. But we have a USB here connection and this is a SD card. I did buy this SD card because um, I use these sometimes. This here is the slot for the mobile cards that I did not purchase. Um, I had it before and I never used it. Uh, and besides, um, yeah, that's the, that was the other card, but this is the actual SIM card here that you pull out and you install a SIM card to have, uh, if you're running a business or you need this computer for work, uh, they give you the option of actually running mobile SIM card here with mobile signal constantly on this laptop. Then next thing is 3.5 millimeter jack, headphones, USB-C and another USB and that USB is super speed. And why am I not focusing? Yeah, USB-C. Here we go, super speed powered. And then this is super speed. I assume this one is not powered as the other ones. It's probably low powered, but that's pretty much what it is on these. And not a whole lot of things, but just the normal things that you would need. I definitely needed the smart card reader because I don't have another laptop and I use sometimes the adapters to read the small SD cards or different accessory that I have. It's uh, like I have a, a camera in my car that I need to get the SD card sometimes to read some stuff because it's faster to read it from the computer. And that's what I use this for. Uh, if you don't need it, then you don't buy it, obviously. And to open this computer right here, um, I did get the most expensive screen. That's the OLED OLED screen with the uh, the touch screen. That's the only option that you actually get as a touch screen. It's the OLED screen. So you will not get another one, uh, another touch screen. The, um, I know it is not as bright as the other ones. I think the nits were 400. But I'm okay with this. This is a 4K screen and it's gorgeous. I mean, it's just an amazing screen. So let's turn it on. Um, the setup is very nice. As you can see, flat gray. And we have this i9 sticker uh, because I did get the i9, the most expensive processor. I have 64 gig of RAM and I have two gigs of uh, SSD, first one and second one is 500. Don't ask me, uh, I just wanted to compensate to get the rest of the stuff like the processor and the video card as high as possible. So I did get the 12 gig RTX, I think it was 4000 on the card and the, the biggest or the most expensive i9. And then the rest of it, I'm, I intend to actually upgrade the SSDs because they're replaceable again. And just so you can see the stuff here, um, the keyboard is very nice, just as, as what you would expect from a ThinkPad. Very smooth. You don't really hear the buttons, just very little tiny, you know, tickings. And of course the famous pad, uh, the mouse thing in the middle, the ThinkPad, the trademark of ThinkPad. Uh, I think the speakers are in this area, of course, they're always here, or sometimes they put them on the side, but in this, in our case, I believe they are just here. Um, it didn't say anything special about the speakers, so um, anyway, if you're using this, you know, this laptop with uh, external speakers, you most likely connect external speakers and not really going to use the speakers on this laptop. And to turn it, uh, I actually did set it up. Um, and if you turn, if you press this button, the power button, um, that button also serves as a fingerprint reader. The actual 
fingerprint reader sensor is built in the power button. So let's see when it's gonna come on. And if it's going to ask again for my fingerprint, I think you may have to hold it a little bit to actually get a reading from the computer. Let's see what happens. Okay, yes, it did not get a reading. We need to press it again. And here we go. So this is how you open it. Obviously, it's amazingly fast. Again, the i9, I, I believe it was 1390, 980, uh, the card. Uh, I know that they have a 14 generation, but these are still coming with the 13s, I believe. Uh, but it's it's fast enough. Um, again, this is a workstation. As you can see, the screen is just amazing. And we have this camera here that obviously they started doing these, uh, they started doing these covers here, the manual covers that you can actually cover the camera by finger and then you can see the red dot. That means the camera is not working. So, I'm gonna keep it, well, I'm, I'll open it actually because I've been using sometimes the Windows Hello face recognition system. And I can almost see some kind of, there's like the, the pixels on the actual screen. <laughs> it's a reflection. Uh, but actually these, even though this is a touch screen and it's supposed to have like a big reflective, um, big big reflections like background reflections these have been made with different uh, materials lately and you you barely you'll see any reflection um i don't think you know at light like uh during the day this would be very bright again it's 400 nits but it's still the colors that you see for professionals this is the main thing that you you know professionals would use that you know professionals with the work of photoshop uh web design all these different things they need these colors uh and programs different programs to actually get the full gamut of colors that you can get or the fullest or the most colors that you can get um i have not switched my um i haven't switched my controller and font let me see if this will work oh yeah okay it works so this is the maximum brightness of the screen um, it's okay I think it will do the job um, and again it's a touch screen so let's see it works here let's get to let's just get here to Windows and this new Windows the new Windows 11 now they have an update where this thing uh, is coming with this thing called Copilot. I guess that's the AI companion of Windows now. So it's built here. That's the first time I've seen this built in here on the site. Um, don't expect a lot of battery life. You you guys know that. The ones you know who deal with these workstations. I've had workstations for many years now. This will probably last you about maybe four or five hours. Depending also on the settings, maybe if you're watching a movie, you can probably lower the settings and maybe get some more. But possibly, uh, I don't know yet. I haven't tried it. I just got this laptop. Literally, this is the second time I've turned this on because I turned it on one time just to set it up. Um, and again, the battery life would not, I don't think would be that great. But people don't buy this, you know, this specific workstation for battery life. Um, you guys should know that. But I'm just, the one thing I'm loving is this 4K screen because this is a laptop after all. What are you going to look at? I mean, what are you gonna do with this laptop? Well, you're gonna type, use this section, but then the most important thing is you're going to use your screen the most. And this screen is just amazing because again, it's OLED and it's 4K, uh, I believe. I don't remember the, the actual, um, what was the okay here are the features on their website you have the 14 13 gens uh processors i believe i have the 13 
and I don't want to get into the computer to show you um, I just don't want you to, I, I don't want you to see my personal stuff that's the reason why I'm not getting into this um, but the they have the 13 14 gens then um, no ships in the dark mode okay blah 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 uh, configured your way this is the set up there offering here that you can actually connect two screens or probably maybe up to three screens i believe and you have the power supply of 230 watts that that huge break and then of course it's the actual screen we have dolby atmos and dolby voice on the audio okay so that's upgraded systems upgraded speaker systems all that option and we have uh, see, this is the deal actually that they install these cameras not on a lot of these not on the laptops. They have full HD hybrid IR camera, which actually the Windows Hello uh, uses to actually open or unlock the computer. Because I have a Lenovo uh, Legion and it does not work. Um, the camera doesn't work with Windows Hello. So. Here's this re reliable, sustainable, blah, 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 standards, checks, military specs. We know these these laptops, these workstations are very strong. They, they're they tested out in the field. So, um, yes, they're amazing. Um, I don't think I've seen anything better uh, in the last 20, 20 some years. And I've checked a lot of different laptops and I still stick with Lenovo. So this is the fingerprint reader right here and the tech specs. We have the 13 gens here. And oh, this is the reason why I got this one. It's because it's an i9. So the 14 gen that they have is i7. So that's the difference. So I got the i9 13980. And Windows uh, 11, obviously. And I did get the 4000 RTX uh, NVIDIA card. They used to be called Quadros, now they're called ADA. Uh, because the the next option, the 16 gig, would have been nice. But the 5000 option was about 3200 just for this video card here, the highest one. So I'm okay. I got 64 gigs of RAM, uh, battery, 94, blah, blah, blah. These are the specs here. You can get up to two or four terabyte SSDs. That's what I'm actually going to try to up upgrade uh, in another video. Um, I'm going to upgrade my SSDs because I'm going to need the space. User facing speakers. So I would assume it's these speakers here. Dolby Voice, do a Farfield Mix, microphones, and the camera, blah, blah, blah. The USB C's, which I already showed you. The wireless cards backlit, spill resistant memory keypad, the keyboard. So these are the screens, the 16, that's the one I got. 16 WQUXGA 3840 on 2400, OLED touchscreen, 400 nits, yes. Um, it's not as bright as the other ones, but HDR is 500 true black. Uh, this one HDR was 400, okay, so that's not bad. I thought it was kind of worse. Um, so it'll, it'll go up to 500 true black. It's true black because it's OLED. It's not LED or LCD. So that's very important. You will get like the way they say true black because OLED technology offers you that option. Dolby Vision, you get color cal calibration and low blue light, eye safe, whatever. And if you guys, you know, uh, staring at these screens for a long time, this, this low blue light will help your eyes or prevent your eyes from being destroyed. Color stone gray, the materials, plastic, recycled, magnesium, like I said, aluminum and, and magnesium. Energy star compliant, that's weird, but I guess they rated it maybe on the lowest power settings. You got some ThinkPad security, the famous ThinkPad security that, you know, I don't think uh, pe people, even if people try to hack these computers, they actually can self-destroy information, this and that. That's why these things are used by governments, militaries, uh, and, you know, high-end um, 
or tech companies, this and that, turn a battery. So this is pretty much it. Like I said, that's what's in the box. Like I told you, ThinkPad, the computer, the adapter, the battery actually, <laughs> it's inside the computer. Okay, it's not in the box. But anyway, and then quick start guide. They just wanted to put this one, I guess, because there's nothing coming with this computer technically. I'm actually wondering if the next time I buy a computer, if these guys will tr try to sell us the adapter separately. I would not be surprised just as what they did with the cell phones. But again, uh, not a whole lot, just these three things. Um, I did. Um, I did have a, a pen that Lenovo um, at that or they they had they, they had it shipped with me uh, or in the box when I bought the p53 and I, I tried this pen and it actually works very nice this is the pen guys so I got it with the p53 and it's some kind of a smart pen Lenovo pen pro actually is what it's called let me see if I can And this focus, please. Anyway, I, I can't get this to focus, I guess. Okay, that's right here. It's called the Lenovo Pen Pro. That This pen came with the P53. I have not used it a whole lot. It has an internal battery that you charge when you press this button and the LED comes on. Right here, it starts blinking. So that's, that's to check if your battery is good. Yeah, right here. Um, it charges through this USB-C port right here and I tried this and it's actually working you can um, I can use this because it's actually made for this type of touchscreen uh, types of touch, touch screens and I um, used to have a touchscreen on the p53 so like I said you can see it um, so I believe this is um, all I could say at this point, I really like this computer. It's a newer computer, obviously newer technology, uh, faster hardware, and Windows 11 is, it seems to be very smooth so far that I have used it on the other computers for about maybe six months to a year, I believe is when I started using it. I kind of postponed it. Uh, but I, I got it on one of, uh, uh, I believe on the Legion that I have and I started using it. So I'm liking the Windows 11. Um, it's pretty smooth and this is what this computer looks like. Obviously we have the, the double, double scroll, uh, mouse. The mouse is very, very smooth. Actually the surface, we have a clicker, right clicker, obviously. And then we have a left clicker and then we can use the famous uh, famous ThinkPad buttons here, the three buttons that are used with this mouse. That's this mouse. Um, you, when you use this mouse here, as you can see, and then you would use these three buttons because you still need to use some kind of buttons. So that's what these three buttons are for. They're related to this, just in case you guys didn't notice. Uh, but um, again, I'm loving this computer. I'm liking it a lot. And I will let you know once I started using it more, uh, my what my experience is. I don't believe I will be disappointed again. I believe this will be a one monster and one very, very fast and nice computer. And if you guys are looking into these, I would highly recommend them. This is a very, very, very good computer and i will make uh possibly one or two more videos of how i upgrade this computer i'll change the ssds i believe one is in the back but there's another one down here under the keyboard so i need to open this computer it's not a whole lot of things that need to do uh, but i still need to open it so i can actually change the ssds and set it up again and I will, I will uh, get back to you with this video when I make it. And of course, one of the functions that I wanted to show you last, but of course not the least, is our famous or the ThinkPad's most famous dot right here. And what this is showing us, it's like a breathing dot is what they call it. 
it's showing that this computer is actually asleep. go and when you open this cover the dot will become a solid dot as you can see right here so there is no other computer with this type of light again that's the trademark of ThinkPad and again one amazing workstation laptop slash a monster of a computer and this is my review of this computer hopefully you guys get some perception of what this looks like i know it's not in front of you. I don't think any stores will have these. I don't think so. They're very expensive. Um, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. I will answer them as soon as possible. I will probably make another video with some, um, with some more uh, performance um, things uh, attached and show you how fast this thing is. Uh, but I'm sure you can find this online. And again, thanks for watching. I would appreciate you if you like my videos and subscribe to them because that helps me to run this channel. And again, let me know if you got any uh, requests to make uh, about this laptop. And stay tuned for the next videos where I'll upgrade my SSDs. Thanks for watching again, again guys, please like and please subscribe, thank you.